Hi, my name is David, and I was born with Asperger's Syndrome, which is a form of autism. When I was young, I wondered what my life would look like or how God can use me. In the year 2009, my life changed forever. I got very sick and I was taken to the hospital. It is there I learned that I had a rare condition called Steven Johnson's 10 syndrome. Steven Johnson's 10 syndrome is a life-threatening skin condition that claims most of its victims with death. Your skin literally falls off of your body and David's skin was coming off from his head to his toes. David was airlifted from the Beaumont Hospital here in Troy to the University of Michigan Hospital in Ann Arbor, Michigan to the burn trauma unit. And there he would receive advanced care as he fought for his life. He was on a ventilator and he was wrapped up with linen, very much looking like a mummy. It was to keep the infection out. The doctors indicated to us that David might, might not survive. It was then that I knew that he was in God's hands, and that was very comforting to me. I had to rely upon the sovereignty of God. I talked to my wife in the waiting area, and there we talked about Psalm 139. And in there, there's a verse, verse 16, that says that God has ordained all of our days before there was yet even one. And I remember telling her that if this is the day that God has ordained for David to die, then I'm good with it. But if this is not the day, then David will not die and we have nothing to worry about. All we could do was pray. In the hospital, it was difficult to communicate with David because he was in and out of consciousness. We had to go into a clean room environment. There we had to wear gloves and masks and outer garments so that we did not bring any infection into his room. But although we couldn't talk to David all the time, in the background, God was. David told us of events and dreams that he had while he was unconscious. In one of those, he could hear a multitude of people praying for him. He could hear those people. Even though he didn't hear the specific prayers, he could hear that people were praying for him. David also tells a story of angels that spoke to him and encouraged him and told him to fight. And I asked him, how did he know that they were angels? And he said, you just know. And I saw a beautiful garden of light and a tree full of light. As I stood in the garden, I no longer had autism. I saw myself as a child of God and a beautiful being. He saw a pair of hands, large hands, coming down from heaven. And in the hands was a lamb. And the lamb was placed upon his lap and he had asked what the lamb was for and a voice whom he assumed was God's told him that that was uh, the lamb was for his healing. Uh, David had multiple organ failure and because of that he had so many uh, different things that could go wrong that would take his life. So we were praying for those things that were the, of greatest value first and uh, one of the first things we prayed for was his liver. He was in total liver failure and they told us that he would not be a candidate for a liver replacement and if his liver did not recover uh, that uh, he would die and uh, very quickly we found that the liver started to recover and uh, one day I was uh, walking by the nurses station they did not see me and the, uh, the, the women came out of the room they had just uh, rebandaged him and the one girl came out and she said can you believe it that he's got his skin and I remember just smiling thinking that God has answered our prayer once again and I told her, I said, yes, I can believe it because we've got just thousands of people praying for David right now. So as we needed the miracles, God was there and he provided them. 